Konnichiwa. Welcome to Learn Japanese with Masa Sensei. This is episode 97. Today in this episode, we will learn about You ni shite kudasai, which means please make an effort to do something. Now let's go. In my previous episode, we learned about You ni shimas. Dictionary form plus You ni shimas means try to do something, make sure to do something. Nai form plus You ni shimas is the opposite. It means try not to do something, make sure not to do something. Today we will learn about dictionary form plus You ni shite kudasai and Nai form plus You ni shite kudasai. This means please make an effort to do something. Please keep in mind to do something. This expression is used to request to repeat the action habitually. Compared to other expressions of request like te form plus kudasai and nai form plus de kudasai, yo ni shite kudasai is a bit more polite. So Japanese people would normally try to avoid to say something directly. So for example, if you say, shukudai o wasure nai de kudasai. 宿題を忘れないでください。This means, please don't forget your homework. However, it sounds a bit too strong. Therefore, in order to soften the new ones, we would often use this expression. ようにしてください。宿題を忘れないようにしてください。宿題を忘れないようにしてください。Please make an effort not to forget your homework. Now let's make some example sentences. Please try to brush your teeth every morning. Every morning is 毎朝毎朝 Brush your teeth is 歯を磨きます歯を磨きます歯 is teeth 磨きます is to brush. So we will change this into dictionary form and put together with ようにしてください毎朝歯を磨くようにしてください。毎朝歯を磨くようにしてください。So compared to 毎朝歯を磨いてください。This sounds like a gentle request. Now let's do another example. Please be sure to close the door when you leave the room. To leave the room is 部屋を出ます。部屋を出ます。When you do something, This is plain form plus toki. So it becomes 部屋を出る toki. 部屋を出る toki. To close the door is ドアを閉めます。ドアを閉めます。Now in order to say please be sure to close the door, we will make this into dictionary form and put together with ようにしてください。ドアを閉めるようにしてください。部屋を出る toki ドアを閉めるようにしてください。部屋を出るとき、ドアを閉めるようにしてください。Please make an effort to study little by little every day. Every day is 毎日。毎日。Little by little. This is 少しずつ。少しずつ。To study is 勉強します。So, we will change this into dictionary form and put together with ようにしてください。勉強するようにしてください。毎日少しずつ勉強するようにしてください。毎日少しずつ勉強するようにしてください。Please try to keep quiet in the hospital. Hospital is 病院、病院。in the hospital, so the particle is で。病院で。to keep quiet. this is 静かにします。静かにします。so we will make this into dictionary form and put together with ようにしてください。静かにするようにしてください。病院で。静かにするようにしてください。病院で静かにするようにしてください。Please make sure to do preparations and reviews every day. Preparations or to study in advance is 予習、予習。And review is 復習
復習。So, 予習と復習をします。予習と復習をします。We will make this into dictionary form and put together with ようにしてください。毎日、予習と復習をするようにしてください。毎日、予習と復習をするようにしてください。Please try not to be late. To be late is 遅刻します。遅刻します。So in this case, we want to say try not to do something. So we will change this into ない form and put together with ようにしてください。It becomes 遅刻しないようにしてください。遅刻しないようにしてください。Please try not to forget your homework. Homework is 宿題。宿題。To forget is 忘れます。忘れます。So try not to do something is ない form plus ようにしてください。宿題を忘れないようにしてください。宿題を忘れないようにしてください。Please try not to drink too much alcohol. To drink too much alcohol. This will be お酒を飲みすぎます。お酒を飲みすぎます。To do something too much, to do something excessively, this is stem word plus すぎます。So in order to say try not to drink too much, this will be ない form plus ようにしてください。飲みすぎないようにしてください。飲みすぎないようにしてください。お酒を飲みすぎないようにしてください。お酒を飲みすぎないようにしてください。So today we learned about dictionary form plus ようにしてください。Which means please make an effort to do something. And ない form plus ようにしてください。Which means please try not to do something. These expressions are often used when you want to make a gentle request. So, this is all for today. Thank you very much for listening. If you are interested in Japanese grammars, please go to my YouTube channel. The link is in the description. I also have my Facebook page and Instagram page, so please follow them as well. I hope this episode was helpful for you. I will see you in the next episode. Arigatou gozaimashita. Bye bye.